Let me talk to you for a minute about the bossa nova rhythm. You know, bossa nova in Latin music is not really in the mainstream of a lot of the younger players, and it's something that you hope you, you hear or listen to or become familiar with as time goes on. But um, it's really not that complex, and I want to show you what I call the cheater bossa. Now, there's a lot of elements in the bossa nova that are the same as, as rock music. One is uh, the hi-hat. We generally use uh, an eighth note rhythm on the hi-hat, like this. We want to make sure that we're getting a nice light sound on the hi-hat that demands two things. It demands that you have your foot down solidly on the hi-hat pedal and it also demands that you play with the, the bead or the tip of the stick versus the shoulder. Not good for a light bossa nova rhythm. This is more preferred. The traditional bossa nova cross stick rhythm sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. One. However, that rhythm can be challenging to some younger players, or any players really, uh, because it demands independence between the bass drum and the cross stick. So I like to simplify that, and I came up with what I call the cheater bossa, which is playing only half of that rhythm. So now the foot, bass drum, and the left hand sound like this. A one, two, three, four. So they're never playing together they always play in the holes of one another. We add the hi-hat to that and we come up with a nice Latin sounding beat but it's still very simple and closely aligned to probably some of the rock rhythms that you play and that you've grown up with. One, two, three, four. I'd like to play this to a track now for you. Uh, one, two, three. The trick with this music, or any music really, is playing along with tracks and hearing the real thing. So you can practice this rhythm on your own, but until you play it with a rhythm section, it's never going to quite feel right. So get some music and play along.